So basically what I'm going to show you guys today is about this little OB2 scanner right here that I picked up about three months ago and is pretty neat I guess. I don't know if it's like really necessary but it's pretty neat to know. So as you guys can see right there it's a Wi-Fi supports all OB2 uh, protocols uh, ELM327. Uh, so basically guys, um, what I'm going to be doing with my videos, everything that I review, I'm going to post a link about where you guys can buy the exact same product that I have bought. But anyway, so that's what I have bought. And if you guys don't know what this is, basically, if you have a check engine light on your car, so I'm going to turn my car on right here. So give me a second, my phone's falling everywhere. So as you guys can see, put the car in neutral so she don't cog out on me anyways as you guys can see right there uh, my engine light is on right there as you guys can see that right over by that e-brake and my rpm gauge so i already know what it is but for <laughs> showing you guys this is the lmf uh whatever scanner. this is the ob2 scanner right here it's blue in the light but anyways you guys are going to find a port down here so give me a second all right guys, so you're basically under my dash right now. My foot pedals are right down there. I don't know if you guys can see with the light. But anyways, I got my uh, flashlight here. It's pitch dark, I don't know why I did this in pitch dark, but I just got pumped to do it. As you guys can see, this is right under my dash. So it's right here, which is the OB2. I don't know if you guys can see this with the light, but it's right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my OB2 and I'm going to plug it in there. And as you guys can see, it's going to start lighting up colors and stuff like that. So I'm going to take it right back out. So here's my dash right down by the where that light is. That's where you can find most any OB2. This is a Mazda 3, obviously. My uh, dad has a Civic. It's down there. My mom has a uh, Elantra, and it's down there. So I'm sure on most cars, it's going to be down there. All right, for next step, this OB2 uh, scanner that I'm actually using is for the iPhone doesn't matter what kind of iPhone it is as long as you guys can get apps on it there is an Android phone uh, OB2 scanner as well I'll put that in the description or video up now and you guys can also click on that link it'll be in the description but this is for iPhone users and it's not as good as the actual uh, the other one I find one of my friend has one and there's a torque app and it's actually amazing so if you guys ever want to look at reviews on those uh, torque app it's awesome but anyway so what I have on mine I don't know if this is gonna focus at all and this is my girlfriend's camera so I'm not too sure on how to focus it alright guys anyways I don't I'm not too sure how to work this camera but as you guys can see there it's called engine link okay so that's the app my phone fucking died anyways so it's called engine link so right there I'm gonna click on engine link all right so this thing is gonna pop up right here so basically it's gonna have this thing all up here you guys are gonna be able to set it up when you guys buy the actual uh, OB2 adapter it'll come with a CD telling you exactly how to do everything and a YouTube video as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press connect actually I have I'm connected to my Wi-Fi at my house right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this I'm gonna go into Wi-Fi and as you guys can see right here this little OB2 thing right here I'm gonna be able to click here give me one sec guys alright so after you guys click the engine link app so right here you guys are gonna see oh yeah it's already connected for me anyway so what you do is you just press connect if it's not already connected and then you can slide down all these slides right here so on this um, app right here it has a um, basically an RPM gauge so if you guys can I don't know if you guys will be able to look at both these see whenever I rev my car it goes up it goes up on my um, OB2 little app thing as well so it says um, gas, everything's the same, uh, your coolant, everything, basically. So then it also has a RPM gauge down here. Basically, it sort of does it in digits. So whenever you rev your car, just do the same thing, right? So you see over there in the right left-hand corner, rev my car goes up on, fuck, goes up there as well. So as you guys can see there, then you can get to your miles per gallon be able to my average is 25.33 as you guys can see masses are awesome for that and right here you guys get into your trouble codes all right anyways guys this camera i need to figure out how to use it 
don't know how to use this whatsoever but anyways so as you guys hopefully can see right there it says read trouble codes uh trouble codes on your far hand left read pending codes in the middle and clear trouble codes so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to click read trouble codes so hopefully there we go so it says anyways if you guys can't see that it says one uh one emission related d PC received. So basically what I'm going to go there, it brings up the code. You guys can check these online if you want. Mine says PO446. So if I click on that, it brings up uh, description, evaporate, emission system, vent control circuit. Basically that's back in the gas tank. It's just a, probably a short circuit or something like that. I'm not too much into all the engine stuff yet. I didn't really do much research on it. I just when I was uh, buying the car, this is a used car, I just bought it about two months ago, I just started to talk to the guy about it and he said it wasn't too bad of a deal and really hasn't been showing in my car's performance whatsoever. But anyways guys, so as you guys can see right there, it's a really cheap way. Uh, it's about 20 bucks on eBay and I'll show you guys the link to this. And if you guys can see, there's going to be a check engine light right up there right now in my car. So as you guys can see, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do this, but there and I can be able to clear them. And as you guys seen right there, slow-mo that for you. As you guys can see right there, it says, all right, cleared codes. Everything's all right now. So that code is basically gone on my car now. So same thing here. If you read trouble codes again on your phone, it won't come up. Okay, so guys, remember that. It won't come up if you read your codes again. So please just jot it down on your, uh, on your iPhone notes or something like that. But basically, yeah, that's all basically it, guys. So, um, all right. So one note is, guys, that yes, uh, this little thing can take your check engine light off your car. Now, if it actually is a problem like mine, basically in three days or I don't know, maybe in six times you start up your car, the check engine light will come back on. Now, you can obviously just turn it off every single time that you use your car. So basically, you can use this uh, OB2 scanner and you can basically get rid of it every time you want it but I don't really recommend it who cares if it's something li really little like an evap sensor like I have but if you guys have like your cylinders misfiring or something like that it'll be able to tell you major problems like that if your transmissions ruined if you have an automatic car same thing so it's really really helpful I find it's a really neat tool as well you can check how much horsepower you have in your car and everything like that so iPhone users this is the, uh, there's, uh, there's a bunch of apps also out there for you. Um, I can't look at them right now, but if you guys go in the app store, you guys are obviously fine. Just put in OB2, uh, OBD2 scanner and it'll come up a bunch. Just I find the engine link one is the best. It is, it did co cost me money. So all in all, you guys are probably going to be spending around like $23, depending on if you guys live in the States or Canada for this OB2 scanner and the, um, the app that you need. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped a little bit. And um, I hope you guys enjoy the, uh, the videos to come from me. So if you guys don't know, um, this is probably going to be the first video I post on my uh, channel. I'm going to be doing uh, just basically all the skills that I've learned through my life. I'm going to put a trailer up later, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. You guys don't give a shit. You guys are just wondering about this OB2 scanner. It's one of the best things ever. I love it. See you guys later.